We've seen the neural network analysis methods of probing, where you train a small linear model to predict out the value of a variable from neural representations. And we've seen that there are many feature attribution methods, where neural representations are assigned a score based off of how they impact the output of the model. Now we'll learn about a different approach to analyzing neural networks based in a mathematical theory of causal abstraction, which has the potential to characterize our representations, support causal inferences about their role in model behavior, and improve model performance by inducing abstract causal structure in neural networks. Deep learning models consist of dense, fully connected layers of neurons with no easily interpreted structure. Tree-structured algorithms, on the other hand, consist of sparsely connected variables with easily interpreted structure. Theories of causal abstraction provide the mathematical tools we need to analyze deep learning models as implementing tree-structured algorithms. In this video, we develop the concepts of acyclic causal models and constructive causal abstraction and show how they can be used to analyze artificial neural networks. Interventionist theories of causality allow us to model deep learning models and algorithms as the same mathematical object, an acyclic causal model. Causal models represent how events actually unfold and how events would unfold if something that actually happened didn't occur. An acyclic causal model consists of variables which can take on values, a partial ordering on those variables, and functions that determine the value of a child variable from the value of the parent variables pointing to the child. This causal model has a variable that indicates whether a forest fire happens, which is determined by a variable that indicates whether the climate is dry, and a variable that indicates whether a camper starts a fire. In this model, what actually happens is a camper starts a fire in the woods on a dry day, and then there is a forest fire. Interventionist theories identify causal processes by the effect of interventions. An intervention is an operation on a causal model that sets some number of variables to fixed values. Interventions allow us to talk about counterfactuals. For example, we can perform an intervention to produce the counterfactual where the climate was dry and the fire did not start. This formalism is quite general, being able to describe any discrete dynamical process. For our purposes, Acyclic causal models will provide a single lens through which we can view neural networks and symbolic algorithms. In our running example, we will be analyzing a neural network trained on a hierarchical equality task to determine whether it implements a tree-structured algorithm that solves the same task. We define the hierarchical equality task as follows. The input is two pairs of objects, and the output is true if both pairs contain the same object or if both pairs contain different objects, and false otherwise. For example, AABB and ABCD are both labeled true, while ABCC and BBCD are both labeled false. Consider the following tree-structured algorithm that solves this task by computing a simple equality relation three times. Specifically, it computes whether the first two inputs are equal, then it computes whether the second two inputs are equal, and then it computes whether the truth-valued outputs of these first two computations are equal. This algorithm is easily represented as a causal model with five variables. Four variables for the inputs, one for the output, and two to store the output of the simple equality computations. The left intermediate variable is determined by the first two input variables. It is true when they are equal and false otherwise. The right intermediate variable is similarly determined from the second two input variables. The output variable is determined by the two intermediate variables. Now consider a three-layer feed-forward neural network trained on the hierarchical equality task, where objects are represented by random two-dimensional vectors. Each layer of neurons is determined by passing the previous layer through a linear transformation and a nonlinear function. This deep learning model is easily represented as a causal model with 34 variables. 
eight variables for the inputs, two for the outputs, and eight for each of the three hidden layers. Each variable is determined by every variable in the previous row according to the weights of the neural network. This model encodes each object as a random vector with two dimensions and encodes the output in a two-dimensional vector containing a probability distribution over true and false. Deep learning models consist of fully connected neural networks that are difficult to interpret or explain. A theory of causal abstraction allows us to operationalize the question of whether our deep learning model implements our tree structured algorithm. For our running example, the input and output neurons of the deep learning model have a predetermined alignment. The two intermediate high level variables are free to be aligned with sets of neurons in the low level model. In practice, we would search over potential alignments, but for this example, we will simply use the alignment shown on the screen. A high level causal model is a constructive causal abstraction of a low level causal model when we can align the variables in the high level causal model with sets of variables in the low level model such that aligned high level and low level interventions have the same effect. At minimum, we want to include the interventions that fix sets of low level variables to the values they actually take on some other input. We refer to such interventions as interchange interventions. In an interchange intervention, a causal model processes a base input, but intervened variables are fixed to be the values they would have taken on for a source input. For example, consider the following interchange intervention. The source input is pentagon pentagon triangle square. The first intermediate variable is true and the second is false, making the final output false. The base input is square, pentagon, triangle, triangle. The first intermediate variable is false and the second is true. However, we intervene on the first variable, setting it to the value it would take if the source input were provided, which is true. This makes the final output true. If our tree structured algorithm is an abstraction of our deep learning model under the alignment shown, then the corresponding interchange intervention on the neural network should have the same result. Again, the source input is pentagon pentagon triangle square. The model first retrieves random vector representations for each object and then computes each layer of neural activations until the output is reached. The model correctly predicts false. The base input is, again, square pentagon triangle triangle the model first retrieves the random vector representations for each object and then computes each layer of neural activations until the second layer. The neurons aligned with the first intermediate variable and the tree structured algorithm are set to be the values they would have taken if the source input were provided to the neural network. This determines the values of the third layer and the output logits. The neural model predicts true matching the counterfactual behavior of the tree structured algorithm. A deep learning model implementing an algorithm is simply a matter of having counterfactual behavior for interchange interventions with any base and source inputs being the same. The interchange intervention accuracy is the proportion of aligned interchange interventions on which the high level algorithm and low level neural network have the same behavior. A different perspective on constructive causal abstraction is that a high-level model is an abstraction of a low-level model only when the low-level model can be simplified into the high-level model through three operations. First, marginalize away all low-level variables that are not aligned with any high-level variable. Second, merge together sets of low-level variables aligned with high-level variables. And third, change the values of these merged variables to match the high level model. In this step, changing the value spaces of variables can result in a simplified causal graph structure because causal effects on the low level variables may not result in changes that can be observed at the high level. 